Fed Day Farm here, back again to show you how to disassemble the Montgomery Ward Western Field 22 bolt action rifle. It's very easy to take it apart, and the first part of this video I'll show you just how to take it down and do a basic field strip and cleaning. Uh, I'll also do an in-depth cleaning how to take the bolt apart and the trigger apart in this video. So first off, let's just make sure the gun's clear. Yep. Like the bolt. What you do is you take a screwdriver and unscrew the flat screw. Now once you got the screw out, what you can do is just lift up and the entire mechanism. You may have to roll it over to let the weight fall out. Pull all that out and the trigger will come with the barrel and all that good stuff. Next what you do is back here this butt, this little thing will push down. You push that down and yeah, it's kind of a pain in the butt to do it. Pull that directly out. Now you just rotate the bolt up take it right out of the gun. From here you can just do a basic cleaning, you know, clean down the barrel, clean the chamber and all that crap, clean the bolt, and that's all you really need to do to clean it. But if you have a really, really dirty gun, I'll take the bolt apart to show you how to clean it further, and I'll take the trigger mechanism apart, apart to show you how to clean it a lot further. Alright, to clean the bolt, what you first do is back here, there's a pressure pin. You can take a flathead screwdriver and just slowly push it out. <laughs> Set that off to the side. Don't lose these little pieces. Now you can take this guide off the back. Pull the ring off the bolt, and the firing pin just pulls right out. Now what you can do, if you want to, take off this piece and the extractor. You know, I you know I took it down to bare bones, and I'll show you how to do it too. So, because the extractor, I can't remember the name of this part. And that's how you do that. Now you may be wondering if you can get these parts confused. No, you can't. You can't put the piece in the wrong side. They can only go one way. So let's get the bolt back together. Now when putting the firing pin back, make sure the part right here you know, hold it upside down. Just drop it in like that. Take the bolt. Now you gotta remember there's a little tab right here on the firing pin. You gotta hold the bolt out just a little bit, or the firing pin out. Get the tab to go inside. Right there. That little tab. You can come back, put the little ring on the back. Wedge side, you know, the beveled side facing to the back. Now you can put this part back on, and you can't mess it up. There's a little groove. There's only one way this will go. Yeah. Make sure you're facing it the right direction, though. Remember, it faces backwards. Take a little pin. Put it back on. And that's how you do the, you know, get the bolt apart and put it back together. Now, if you want to get the trigger group off, that's actually fairly easy too. First, start out by removing these two little leaf springs. Let's unscrew them. See my wrist. Set those off to the side. 
you can do now is take the hammer spring, push it down and out of the way. Drop the hammer, pull it out. Yeah, you have to drop the hammer on this one. What you can do now is inside here, right here, is a screw. Take that out. Now this gun was missing the front screw, so nothing I can do about that. But as you can see, everything is held on. Let me get this. Now as you can see, everything's held on with these little E-clips. These things right here. Everything's held on with those. Makes it very easy to disassemble these things. And all you'd have to do to get it all apart, you know, take this E-clip off the safety. Pops right off, pops in and out very easily. Take this E-clip off, you know, off of here and off the trigger so you can pull the trigger bar and everything out. It makes it very easy to disassemble this gun. Uh, I'm not going to do it all the way for this part because it's really just counterintuitive. It's just easy to do. If you can't figure it out, you've got some problems. One note I will give you is in here. The trigger spring. That is actually kind of a pain in the butt to get the trigger spring back on and get the trigger back on and the spring where it'll actually work. So let's put this back together. That's how you put the trigger mechanism, you know, take it apart and put it back together. Yeah, I know I said I'd take it apart all the way. I'm not really going to do that. It's very easy to do and it's, unless the gun is really, really, really gummy, you don't need to do it. Just make sure parts are basically clean. So let's put it back on the rifle. Now what you want to do is make sure the hammer's cocked. And I'm going to do that and get back to you real quick. After you've got the hammer cocked on the gun, so you can get your bolt back in, that's what you want to do next, is just put the bolt back in the gun. Now lock it down. Take this back piece, put it on just a little bit. Yeah, I did it all the way, you can't do that at first. Because what you got to do... Use a screwdriver to lift up this back edge of this flat. So use a flathead screwdriver, just lift it up, push it in, there you go. Now just take the barrel, put everything back down in the gun, or in the stock. Screw it all back together. And that's how you disassemble and clean a Western, a Montgomery Ward Western Field 22 rifle. Very easy. Anybody can do it. This is Fatty with a Firearm. If you like the video, like, share, subscribe. Also, go watch the full review of this gun that I have. And thanks for watching.